Right, okay, so setup-wise for me, looking much better. Actually, on the right-hand side, actually looks better again. That little bit more tilt there in the spine angle. Like I say, from last time, where there's a sort of hunch here and the neck would sort of come up off your chin there, it was looking a bit mechanical, okay? Now you kind of just look that sort of tilt over the golf ball, arms drop, a little bit of knee flex. We're in a good spot. Now, in terms of the alignment, if we just looked at that then, zoomed in a little bit, I would kind of say, if we just saw that based on that line there, I would kind of say you're aiming there which if we look at where that is, that's the sort of flagless flag. That's kind of where your shots are gone. Mm -hmm. So you're not actually hitting the ball right. You're hitting the ball straight. You're aiming right. Mm -hmm. Now, sometimes the mat can do that, okay, when you're lining up. Then the best range I ever went to was a circular mat on the range. There was nothing to help you with an outside edge to, to line up with. If we get in the habit of using an edge of a mat, and so many of my lessons go, okay, where are you aiming? Oh, I'm going with the mat. Well, on the golf course, there's no mat to go with. It's just like you've got green grass all over the place. You've got to learn to redirect yourself. So just be careful when you're hitting shots and going, because if you hit 20 golf balls, thinking you were going kind of towards the 150, which I guess is over here somewhere, and your golf balls were going over here, you go, oh, I've got to try the ball further left now. Mm. And then you get them and you go, and you just, sorry, then you go and sort of hoiks it way over there somewhere, and you go, that's a bad swing. And mm. then you start making these adjustments, okay? But okay. in terms of the actual swing itself, okay, Back swing wise, not looking good. There's a little bit of drop in there, as we said, but that's to be expected. Okay, it's only a lot less than it was in the past there. Okay, so top of the back swing in a good position. What we're trying to do now is keep this hip back and away. So when you come into the golf ball now, it will give you a lot more room. Now, when you look at these two swings, you think, well, what's the difference? Okay, A, the ball striking and the ball flight is better. Okay, it's just going to be margin. Okay, you'll probably see it more as you come in. Hips go away a little there, but if we look at the gap there between that and that, and when you come into here now, that and that that's how much more gap you've got it's probably about i don't know an inch or so more there okay. it's marginal if you look at the gap there between kind of where your arms are from you know, there's a little bit of daylight there more oh, it's see. very very minor mm. but it's just enough and again you're only thinning the ball by that much you weren't hitting the ball at the top and being two inches out you're probably like half an inch out so the feeling for you i mean you first you got tons more room you've got that much more room mm. but the thing is in golf that much feels about this much okay right. so it's that feeling of keeping those hips back and maintaining your spine angle as best we can doing that drill up against the wall will really help there so you get the feeling of your sort of your right cheek going back and your left cheek coming through there on your backside there or you can put your golf bag behind you or an umbrella or something in the ground just something to give you the sensation of your hips rotating while at the same time your spine angle is staying there. Now, if you film your swing, there will be a little bit of that, okay? Don't try and keep it perfectly straight. You look at any tall pro, none of them keep their back perfectly straight. The force of that goal swing is going to cause a little bit of curvature, okay? So don't worry about that when you sort of see, oh, I'm getting a bit hunched again. There will be a bit of hunch, but as long as you're trying to keep those hips back, gives you room for your arms, and, of course, you're striking the ball better, mm. that's kind of what we're looking to try and achieve, okay? Because mm. for me, it's all about what the ball flight's doing. The fact that it looks marginally different, and maybe like, is there any difference? What's the difference in the two? If I put those two side by side, you'd go, which is the good one, which is the bad one, okay? It's probably not that much different. But again, if you're thinning the golf ball, that much off the ground is going to be mid to lowish mid ball. That much lower is going to be the bottom of the ball and a much better flight. Yeah. So it is going to be tiny little adjustments bit by bit. The feelings to you, like I say, are those hips are just staying back here okay and there's more room down with your arms to swing okay i mean strike on this one was very very good nice rotation and when you finish swing obviously your spine then will sort of vertically sort of release up to a, a finished position okay but that that for me is going to be the sensation overall though if you actually look at where your head sort of moves here just there there's a lot less movement with your head isn't it looking down the line there compared yeah. to what we had before so at least now kind of your central pivot point is maintaining where it obviously yeah it's not going to do this at all but you, before you were going down and up because your chest was was doing this and all the different adjustments you had to make with down up side up down it was just yeah you were fighting a losing battle really and if you play sort of three or four games i'm in a week or over a fortnight by the sort of third or fourth game you might have found a feeling that worked but it's just going to be too risky there's, there's too many inconsistencies there if we can as i said get yourself in a good start position Maintain that posture as best you can. Let your arms hang down from the shoulders and come back to the golf ball nicely underneath the shoulders there. The golf swing there's just basically a turn and a return, or two turns and a swish, as we call it. Okay, You turn back, you swish the club, you turn your body through. Yeah. Try and simplify as best we can and get a lot less out of your head and trying to adjust all the time. And I think on the range, it's being disciplined to hit a shot towards a target, whether it be there, there, whatever it may be. Something specific, not just going along with the edge of the mat. Because if you line up with the mat here... When that line's not there, 
you're not going to line up on the golf course. Where's, 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 my, where's my sort of comfort blanket? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Does that kind of make sense yeah. then, yeah? 100%. Yeah, yeah. Feeling wise, you say, a bit more room is what you said you felt there mm. for your arms to swing, okay? Your hips are going to start gradually staying back a little bit more. In some ways, the, the practice movement will exaggerate it a little bit more. I don't mind a little bit of movement, and if truth be told, but I want less than what you had. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, right, great. Have a couple more, mate. It's going well.